how to set yourself up for success today on Awakening with Amy. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Amy Valentine. I'm a certified life coach doing these videos to help you awaken to a mindset that you can be, do, and have any desire. And today I want to talk about how to set yourself up for success. And what I mean by that is just creating a daily routine that you can return to that just feeds your good intentions, feed your soul. Okay. So why do we even want to do this? Well, I guess, I mean, the answer should be obvious, right? <laughs> but so often we get caught up in our day-to-day -day tasks, what we have to do, you know, our obligations, our work, you know, all these things we have to do and we forget to take care of ourselves. And I don't need to tell you that that when you practice that more and more and more, that leads to stress. And that stress creates that inner conflict within, right? That cognitive dissonance, meaning I have a value, I have a belief, but I'm doing something else. I say one thing and I do another. And that cognitive dissonance left un, you know, treated, I guess to say it, unaware, if you become, if you're unaware of it and you don't do something about it, it just gets worse and worse and worse and leads to more stress and more toxic cycles. And, you know, we all have heard, I think of that story, the native American story of the two wolves where the grandfather's town, the little boy, the story that we all have two wolves within us, you know, that, that little wolf, that little self, the ego personality self based in fear, right? All those limitations we put on ourselves, all those excuses we make for not being that higher version. And then the other wolf is the bigger self, you know, the higher self, the one that's rooted in love and connected to that infinite source energy in the universe. And the little boy says to the grandfather, well, Grandfather, which wolf wins? And he just simply says, the one you feed. I mean, simple little story, but so profound, right? And if we just take that in, what we have the power to choose how we want to show up, how we want to live our lives. And it's all about feeding the, the wolf within that's loving us. The more we feed that love within, the more we have to give the people in our lives. And then, you know, the benefits should seem obvious, right? So how do we do this? So this is my suggestion. Set aside some time, half hour, 45 minutes, an hour, whatever you have every single day and do these three things in the morning before you do anything else. Number one, move your body. Do some kind of exercise, whether it's just stretching, whether it's a yoga practice, taking a walk, whatever you need to do to move your body. It's so beneficial. It just clears the cobwebs of, of the night and just starts your day off setting yourself up for a better quality experience. Number two, sit for a few minutes, five, 10, 20, whatever you have and meditate. And when I say meditate, all I mean is to be still, quiet your mind, learn to become the observer, right? We always have the, the mind's always chattering. And then we always have this outer stuff that we're responding and reacting to. So when we learn to meditate, even just a few minutes every single day, then we're practicing that muscle that we learn to become the neutral observer. And when we can become a neutral observer of our thoughts of anything in our life, we, we 
learn to be still. And when we're still, we can think calmly before we act. We, like Abraham Hicks says, do nothing unless you're in alignment with your higher self. She always says that, right? And meditation teaches us how to cultivate that relationship with our inner being, with our soul, so we can make better decisions day to day. Number three is you want to do something that cultivates or inspires you, educates you, whatever you're drawn to whether it's reading a book for a few minutes, whether it's watching a YouTube video that inspires you, or whether it's journaling, writing, whatever it is that feels good to you, do it for a few minutes before you do anything else. And lastly, at the end of your day, right before you go to bed, you want to, you want to go to bed on a positive note, on a high note. Even if something crappy happened dur during your day, here's a technique to revise it. It's called revision, it's from Neville Goddard, and all it simply means is taking an event that happened during your day. I don't know, maybe somebody cut you off in traffic and flipped you off, or maybe you had a bad review at work, or you had a fight with your, your partner. Whatever it is, take a couple minutes and revise it in your imagination, write it down if you want to, the way you would have liked it to go. And this is why that is so powerful. Neville talks about this in his lectures, that when we revise a past event during the day to reflect what we would have preferred, we're not taking it into our future. Remember, whatever wolf we're feeding, we're getting more of, right? So, we take that unwanted event, we revise it the way we would have liked it to go, and it just, it neutralizes that negative energy and then creates the momentum towards more positivity in the future. And then you go to sleep and you let it all go. So feed the, the wolf within you that loves you when we love ourselves and we start practicing this every day. And I'm not talking about doing this like a crazy person and making it your job and being militant about it. I'm just like, just, it's a framework to set yourself up for success so you can feed the love within you and then you have more to give those other people that are so important to you in your life. So I would really appreciate it if you would like this video and share it with, with any family and friends. That's how YouTube knows to get this information out there and also subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you and have an awesome day.